My family has fallen in love with butter chicken, which is great, unless you can't find garam masala anywhere. Um, and when I finally did find it, it was so ungodly expensive that um, I could have taken my family out to eat for the price of the bottle of garam masala. So, quick internet search, found a lovely uh, woman who taught me how to make garam masala. So here we are. I have 12 tablespoons of ground cumin, six tablespoons of ground cardamom, six tablespoons of ground coriander, six tablespoons of black pepper. Oh, and I should tell you that I like multiplied her recipe by 12 so that I would have enough garam masala to last me a while. Four tablespoons of cinnamon. So what I'm telling you is if you don't want this much, you should not make, you should cut it in half or probably less. I have two tablespoons of cloves. God, I love the smell of cloves. And two tablespoons of nutmeg. And there you have your very own garam masala. This you can keep in an airtight container for up to six months. Longer if you put it in the refrigerator.